Alrighty, so while the construction team gets the crane set up today um, and there's no progress on the construction site worth filming, I decided to launch my Klondike Gold Rusher um, kind of video on why I think Vortex's new name will be Klondike Gold Rusher. So throughout the video, I'm going to describe a little bit of the history of um, Canada's Wonderland and why Frontier Canada is suddenly happening. Um, and I'm using this information from a recent blog post by Canada's Wonderland on their website. So I'll link that down below for you guys to check out because it's got some really awesome pictures. Um, one in which I used in this video to describe why I think Klondike Gold Rusher is going to end up being Vortex's name um, and how it ties into Frontier Canada. So for those of you that um, know Canada's Wonderland and know the direction they're heading, Frontier Canada is coming to Canada's Wonderland part of um, a huge expansion with Yukon Striker. Uh, um, Frontier Canada is like a multi-year kind of expansion, and it's all started way back in 2012. That's when planning for Frontier Canada actually started. Planning for the new coaster started in 2014. So Frontier Canada came to light um, with this whole concept of uh, bringing Taft Broadcasting's vision for the park back to life. So in 1981, the park was planned to open with five themed areas. That would be International Street, Medieval Fair, Grand World, Expo 1890, the Happy Land of Hanna-Barbera Land, and Frontier Canada. Frontier Canada um, ended up not happening. Um, it was supposed to be in the area of Mindbuster, and that was later scrapped, and it didn't end up opening with the park. Um, so... Wonderland or Cedar Fair has decided to launch Frontier Canada now to celebrate Canada's like heritage and bring that whole area to light. Now, there's a lot of pictures that Canada's Wonderland has chosen to include in the blog, um, and I find the ones they chose to include very interesting. Now, some of them, a lot of them are signs, um, and some of them like hint at kind of like shops that could be coming to Frontier Canada. Some even hint at um, merchandise shops. Like, so for example, we have. The Great Northern Ice Cream Company. Um, we have Fowler's Bay, Login Show, and Jamboree. Now, these are concepts from the original, but I do know from um, talking with park representatives and just some small interviews and the behind-the-scenes construction tours that they're trying to bring Frontier Canada back to life, so the original vision. So that's what's interesting. So a lot of this is um, stuff you would want to take into consideration. Now, there's one specific sign that really got to me, and it was Klondike Gold Rusher. To me, that sounds like, you know, a ride name, and uh, we know that they just recently themed Vortex to kind of like a mining company or a mine cart. So I think Klondike Gold Rusher would work really well. Now, all they would have to do is um, simply maybe repaint the track and supports. Again, I don't necessarily think they even have to do that. The red paint on the track is still in pretty good health compared to other rides like Behemoth. No shade. So keeping it um, the way it is isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, even the station could work with some sort of Canadian theming. It goes up the mountain and then it heads back down. So something along those lines. Um, some of the attractions that were originally proposed um, included a Chilkoot tramway and slide, a steamboat ride, the search for John Franklin, an Arctic experience and hands-on gold panning experience among others now i could see the gold panning experience like they have at cedar point coming to canada's wonderland for 2019 um and uh it's just interesting what they could be uh bringing forward into frontier canada it, it's it's kind of interesting because we don't know a lot when they announced yukon striker they left out a lot of details about frontier canada so we don't know what's coming in terms of theming and the area, we're told that there's a lot of small surprises that could be coming with Yukon Striker and the theming. Um, I do know that the station will be themed to the, the Gold Rush era of Yukon. Um, so expect um, some sort of like mining company station and loading area. And we know from the recent blog post too that was released yesterday that there's going to be some buildings and theming as well. So whatever happens between Timberwolf Falls... Um, or even Soaring Timbers and Mindbuster is going to be pretty extensive. We know that they've been theming the area um, pretty um, in depth since Soaring Timbers, and uh, Yukon Striker is supposed to be that kind of like push. It's not even a final push from what I've gathered from interviews. This is like almost like the midsection of Frontier Canada Yukon Striker, which is super interesting. And 
Again, I'll be making a video on Mindbuster and what that could have in store for Frontier Cannon as well in the future. But for now, let's keep it to Vortex. So Vortex, we know, was rethemed. Um, so it's a, it's a minecart, and that's all we know now. Um, so Vortex and the minecart skin, they don't fit. So we know, and from confirmation from Roller Coasters A, that Vortex's name is going to change. That is guaranteed. They even offered or invited, and I, I think it was in a joking way. I don't think they're actually looking for input, um, for input on the new name for uh, Vortex. And one this sign to the right, so the Klondike Gold Rusher with the, the miner um, hanging from a rope, is a sign that I saw that Canada's Wonderland used in the blog post, and I think that's super interesting. Um, a, because he's hanging from a rope and he's climbing down a mountain um, into a mine, um, and the whole Klondike Gold Rusher. So... To be honest, there isn't much to go off of in terms of what the new name for Vortex could be, and this is just a prediction and speculation video, but I do strongly believe Klondike Gold Rusher could be a very well-used name for the new theme and new name for Vortex. Um, Vortex is now what looks like a mining adventure that's going to kind of incorporate itself with Yukon Striker, and Yukon Striker is supposed to be an eagle in dive position, so thus the um, the dive into the tunnel. Again, the name Yukon Striker and then the choice of theming of, of a mining company doesn't necessarily um, make total sense to me, but I do like the name. So again, the name definitely grew on me, Yukon Striker, but it doesn't fully blend in. And I think uh, this new name and theme for Vortex will help blend that in. So Yukon Striker will be the eagle that's just like soaring through um, Frontier Canada um, and uh, you have your Klondike Gold Rusher, which will also be a main attraction. And then Mindbuster will come in and finish off the storyline in 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, whatever it ends up being. But I definitely think Mindbuster has a huge play for Frontier Canada and it'll finish it off. Again, Mindbuster was a big part of that. So Klondike Gold Rusher is definitely something that is uh, unique, and a lot of people don't like the word Klondike involved in a roller coaster name. Just from when I've talked to people about the whole when we thought that Yukon Striker might be called Klondike Gold Rusher or Klondike Gold Rush, a lot of people were like, what do you want? A Klondike uh, <laughs> ice cream bar or something. Um, but I definitely think the name fits. They can have, you know, the gold panning um, attraction that we discussed earlier that was originally planned out front of that so you can kind of pan for gold there's a little area under vortex's kind of like turn into the station that they could turn into like a little panning for gold little shop area um that would be really cool um and uh i also like the logo the original logo back from uh, the original plans of frontier canada i think it would work great for a uh, klondike gold rusher uh -huh. <laughs> if it ends up being that so I definitely want to hear from you guys. Um, what do you think about Klondike Gold Rusher? Do you like the name? Do you think it's going to be something else? And do you think the theme would fit? So you have, you know, the miner climbing down a rope, climbing down a mountain or climbing up a mountain, whatever he's doing um, on the sign. And uh, do you think that they're going to bring back a lot of these original attractions from Frontier Canada? So, so I'm going to read a little bit of the blog post here for you guys, but skip ahead to more recent years under Cedar Fair's ownership and you can see Canada's Wonderland has been busy getting back to its roots. Canadian-themed attractions have been added, such as Lumberjack, Flying Canoes, Soaring Timbers, Muskoka Plunge, and even the Kitty Area in Splashworks, Lakeside Lagoon. Frontier Canada will now be home to many of these attractions, plus classic Mighty Canadian Mindbuster, Whitewater Canyon, Timberwolf Falls, Vortex, and the brand new Yukon Striker Dive Coaster. As to what else is in store for Frontier Canada... Well, everyone will just have to wait and see. Canada's Wonderland staff are excited to finally bring, bring life to Frontier Canada after its conception so long ago. It's created a sense of renewed pride in what we do to infuse a bit of our Canadian identity and history into our amusement park. So this is all extremely interesting because they're keeping a lot of this secret. Um, a lot of this a secret, um, even from uh, interviews we've had, they're still in a planning phase for Frontier Canada, and Frontier Canada isn't done at Yukon Striker, and that's what's interesting. So what do you guys think? What do you think about Klondike Gold Rusher? Do you think that it could end up being the name for Vortex? What else do you think is coming to Frontier Canada? And what do you expect to see in Frontier Canada in 2019? Do you expect to see any of these original concepts at all? Comment down below what you guys think. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.